Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and today we're going to be reviewing the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition. Now this laptop has been long awaited. People have been asking Xiaomi to launch their laptops in India for a very long time. And finally the company gives us two laptop models the Mi Notebook 14 and the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition. Now these are laptops that were specifically designed for India and they were launched in India first as their global debut was here. Now before we get into how it performs, the specs, the pricing etc, I want to make sure that you've hit the subscribe button on our channel and of course there's also a bell icon. If you click it, it makes sure you don't miss any updates from us in the future. Having said that, let's begin. Let's go over the specs of the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition. So there's actually two models. There's the Mi Notebook 14 and then there's the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition. All of the laptops are powered by Intel's 10th gen processors and come with 8 gigs of RAM standard. All models also come with an NVMe SSD on board as standard. And this is a PCI 3 NVMe drive using four lanes, so X4. Um, as far as the PCI spec goes, this is pretty much the fastest you can get in terms of uh, re uh, read write speeds, so that's pretty good. The laptop display is standard, it's a 14 inch display, 1080p resolution, matte panel, but the difference between the Horizon Edition and the non-Horizon Edition is the bezels on the Horizon Edition are extremely thin, measuring just 3 millimeters on the left, top and right side. The regular variant of the Mi Notebook 14 has bezels on either side. So that's pretty much the only difference. Now, going over the specs of the laptop we have in particular, this is powered by an Intel Core i7 10 Gen processor, has 8 GB of RAM on board, a 512 GB NVMe SSD, full HD display like we discussed, and it's extremely light at just 1.35 kilograms. That honestly is a very very surprising factor that this little 14 inch laptop weighs so little so those are the specs of the Mi Notebook 14 now let's move into how it performs and that's in the performance section now what was really interesting about the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition is that it actually comes with a very powerful set of configuration it's got an Intel Core i7, it's got uh, Nvidia's MX350 dedicated GPU, which is the, this is being the first laptop with this particular GPU in place. Eight gigs of RAM, NVMe drive. Essentially, there's very, very little bottlenecks on the system. So what is it good for? Um, in the presentation, Xiaomi said that you can do a lot with it. You can do content creation, you can game on it, you can uh, do pretty much anything and everything. Unfortunately, that's a bit of a stretch. This laptop is ideally geared for people who are looking for an everyday laptop with a little bit extra room for performance. So you will not be able to play AAA titles for sure. You will not be able to run games at high graphics. If you do want to play, the MX350 can probably manage playable frame rates only at low graphics settings, maybe medium if you turn down the resolution down to 720p. When it comes to everyday performance though, this laptop packs quite a punch. Now, whether you're working with MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, maybe you're working with all of them at the same time, you have 50 tabs of Chrome open. This machine handles all of it with such ease, it's ridiculous. It's very smooth. The entire performance on this laptop is actually very, very commendable. In terms of the benchmarks, now benchmark numbers also look very promising. You can see all of them on your screen. When it came to 3D Mark, however, the benchmark did not recognize uh, the Mi Laptop 14's hardware as compatible with most of the tests. So we were only able to run two of the 3D Mark tests that we normally run. We've got PC Mark 10's productivity test which actually tells you exactly how this laptop would perform if you were going to use it in an office setting. Part of the performance is also the battery life because this laptop's big claim is also the fact that it's going to give you great battery life and the two sort of go hand in hand. So the idea is that you take the laptop, you charge it to 100% overnight and then I would use it for the rest of the day as my regular work laptop, which includes writing stories, editing some photos in Photoshop, um, you know, and essentially doing a lot of research work as well. So using the laptop as a work laptop without it being plugged in and seeing how long the battery lasts. 
This is sort of not the most objective test, but it gives a good idea how long the battery will last in a real world scenario versus, of course, we also have benchmark numbers for this. Now, in my usage, I was getting a good five and a half to six hours of use with the brightness set at 50%. And of course, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. There were no devices plugged into the laptop. There was no mouse connected to it over Bluetooth. There was nothing plugged in. So that sort of made sure that there was not there was no power draw from the USB ports draining the battery. Your mileage may vary a little bit, but when we ran the PC Mark 10 productivity battery test, which basically simulates uh, work scenarios, you know, so you're basically switching between a lot of the office apps, the browser, etc., the laptop clocked seven hours worth of runtime. So that's actually very impressive for something this tiny. Now, Overall, the performance and the battery sort of go hand in hand with this machine. And honestly, if you're a student looking for a college laptop, if you're an office going individual whose work relies on multitasking or a lot of, uh, you know, just lots and lots of word file, Excel sheets, big Excel sheets, big presentations, the Mi Notebook 14 is actually a pretty good choice. And while ours is the i7 SKU, you could also consider going with the i5 and still get very similar performance out of it. Although you may not be able to run games or Photoshop with that much ease as you would on this particular machine. So in terms of its performance, it's scoring pretty top notch points here. It's both in benchmarks and of course in real life usage. Now let's go over the display on the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition. This is actually something that I'm actually very, very excited about. Um, it, so the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition comes with a 14 inch display that's packed into a chassis that's about 13.3 inches. And a lot of companies have been claiming this, but the fact is when you narrow down the bezels, you get a bigger display. It's just simple design. Um, it is definitely a display that's immersive. You don't, you're not distracted by the bezels. And unfortunately, the downside of this kind of slimming is that there's no webcam, but we'll cover that at a later point. Um, by itself, the display has a resolution of 1080p. So that's 9020 by 1080p with the, uh, and the aspect ratio is still 16 is to nine. It's not moved up to the 16 is to 10 aspect ratio like a lot of other professional machines have been doing. Um, the color reproduction is actually very good. Right out of the box, it seems to be calibrated to uh, represent colors accurately, thanks to the fact that it's an IPS panel. Good stuff there. What was particularly impressive, however, is the peak brightness, which goes north of 400 lux in our testing, and that's pretty bright. We've actually tested a lot of laptops in this price range, which cannot meet this level of brightness. In fact, Currently, as I'm talking to you about this review and also fiddling around with the laptop, I have the brightness set at 50% in a fairly bright room and it's legible just fine. I could take this laptop outside to crank the brightness up all the way up to 100% and still have everything be beautifully legible, including dark scenes in a movie like Guardians of the Galaxy, which I happen to watch outside one day. Don't ask me why. But... Display, gorgeous, no doubt about it. This is not, however, a gaming display. It is a 60 hertz panel has, I mean, talking about input lag and in, uh, response time is of no consequence here at all. So we're not even gonna get into that, but it is a 60 hertz panel and it is adequately good for practically everybody who is looking for a machine besides for a gaming purpose. If you're not gonna game on it, this is a beautiful display, no doubt about it. Now let's talk about keyboard and the trackpad. Now these two are very, very important aspects about the Mi Notebook 14's performance. Now, the keys are pretty broad. The square keys, rounded edges, uh, they offer 1.3 millimeter of travel, but the keyboard and the keys themselves are fairly mushy. Like this is like rom-com level mushy, okay? And interestingly, there is uh, maybe this is just my own perception, but sometimes some keys have different actuation points. So the typing experience on this thing has not been the best. Um, even with 1.3 millimeters of travel, the, because the keys are very soft and mushy, the feedback is very less. And um, given that the actuation points vary, and it's just not been the most accurate typing experience for me. Normally it hasn't this 
I haven't experienced this with many laptops in most price ranges, but with this one, that is the case. There are laptops which use mushy keys, but they either offer more travel or are slightly firmer or have better actuation consistency. But with this one, it could be a problem with this particular unit, but that's been one observation. The second observation, probably the one you would most probably be um, turned off by, is the fact that there is no backlighting on the keyboard which is extremely surprising. This laptop is so well thought out. It is so well thought out and so well designed that the fact that Xiaomi left out backlighting on the keyboard is just like, what? It, it's like, you know, um, these guys set out to do something great and then all of a sudden somebody forgot this one basic feature. It happens all the time, but in this case, we don't have any backlighting, which is kind of sad because if you're gonna use this machine, in the dark, at night, um, whatever, good luck typing on it. And given the fact that the keys don't really feel that great to type on in the first place, you will definitely have a problem. Um, one workaround is to crank up the brightness of the panel so that the light falls on the keyboard and you have some sense of how what you're typing, but that, that started to hurt my eyes after some point, so it'll probably hurt your eyes too. The second thing is the trackpad. Now, the trackpad is a fairly decently sized trackpad. It does not have individual click buttons, which I personally do not like at all. Um, so if, and that's for the reason that, you know, it causes failure rates to be much higher. The other problem with this trackpad is that it has a significant amount of play. The, the panel, the plastic piece that comprises the actual trackpad can be pushed quite a bit before it actually actuates a click. and it just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. Like I have a feeling that if this laptop was to be used by me long term, the first thing that would actually go bad on it would be the trackpad. And the funny thing is, this laptop is so well built that I don't think anything else would go bad. But the trackpad is definitely going to fail. So maybe, you know, Xiaomi could look at this internally and figure out how to sort of improve the quality of the trackpad because it's definitely got a lot of play and it does not inspire confidence at all. But besides that, it does work very well. Like it does register your taps very easily. It works with gestures and it's very, very smooth. It actually is not, it's one of the nicer experiences out there, but it's just the two clicks that sort of really leave you worrying about the longevity of this thing. So that's that. Since we've been talking so much about the build and quality of the Mi Notebook 14, let's just get directly into that section now. Now, the build quality of the Mi Notebook 14 the Horizon Edition. Now, I'd say Horizon Edition in specific because that's what we have right now. And I have not even seen with my own eyes, that is, the non-Horizon version of this laptop. So I'm not going to say anything about it. The build and quality of the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition is actually very good. Now, if you read uh, my first impressions of this laptop, you would know that when I pulled this out of the box, I actually expected to feel something cheap, plasticky, you know, a lot of flex on the lid, on the base. But turns out that's definitely not the case. Xiaomi has used, uh, you know, uh, magnesium alloy to basically build this entire laptop. And what that does is it gives it an extremely sturdy form factor. It's built very, very well. There is little to no flex on this at all, neither on the keyboard island. The lid, of course, will have some flex because it, uh, you know, it's a thin sheet of metal over here. The base itself, again, some flex because there has to be a gap between the back panel and the motherboard in, or, in order to allow airflow. So there is some flex there, but not the kind which should, you know, um, the laptop doesn't buckle while you're typing on it, for example. So that level of uh, flex is not there. And the keyboard island is solid. So that's pretty um, good. This level of construction inspires confidence in the durability of the laptop is basically the point I'm trying to get at. The hinge is very, very nice. It, what's like when you set it to a specific angle, it stays there. It literally stays there. It doesn't move. There is no, none of that, you know, you set it here and then wobbles around. Mm -mm, no, nothing, no wobbling, no changing of the angle. It just stays where it should. And Xiaomi kind of makes it a big deal that you can open this with one hand. 
I don't know why you, this would be a big deal, very honestly. In fact, a lot of reviewers also talk about the ease of, oh, you can open it with one hand. I mean, I get it. It's cool and everything, but it doesn't really bring groundbreaking changes and joy to my life. I don't know why it would to anybody else's. So, overall build quality, very nice. The design, super cool. But what would be the problematic part about the design of this laptop is the I.O. Now, all of it is actually on the right side. And on the left, we have a singular USB type A port and there is a massive vent next to it. So that's OK. But on the right side, you have your entire HDMI. You have two USB A ports, one USB type C port, the power port, all of that. What that could potentially do is if you have, let's say, an external hard drive plugged in or uh, you've plugged in an external monitor and you're also using a mouse, those cables are definitely going to get in the way. and. Uh, that can be problematic. But then again, you know, when you're looking at designing a machine, you've got to keep into account thermals, where you're going to vent the heat from. I appreciate the fact that the venting is not happening on the side where you have the mouse because this laptop can get warm. Let's just leave it at that. It gets warm and it would not be a very nice experience if all of that heat was being exhausted towards the hand which is operating the mouse. So, I mean, what would be this is sort of a trade-off situation you could obviously figure out a way to work around it but having to work around the heat coming onto your hand is definitely a lot harder than having to work with the cables plugged in on the side where you're also going to use a mouse so just increase the distance and you should be fine now let's talk about the other problem with this laptop which is upgradability now if you open this machine up you realize that there are no ram slots on here that means the 8 gigs of RAM that you get on the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition is essentially soldered onto the board and is not user upgradable. There are no extra DIMM slots, There's, it's just it, that's what you're stuck with. And unfortunately or fortunately, Xiaomi does not offer a 16 GB RAM option. So 8 gigs of RAM is actually all you get and that's pretty much what you're stuck with. So this laptop, I, I ideally, if you're considering uh, the longevity of it for use, you know, it's best suited for people who are going to office or for students who need something for a few years. Uh, but in terms of a machine as something for light editing, light gaming, mm -mm. in some time it's not, it's 8 gigs of RAM is just not going to cut it. So that is something to keep in mind. If you are considering the Mi Notebook 14 uh, Horizon Edition as a laptop of your choice, simply because you need something for editing and this has a dedicated GPU and it costs far lesser than most other laptops out there with powerful hardware. Do note that the 8 gig of RAM will be a limitation for sure. Secondly, there's only a singular NVMe slot on here. So it's not that you get dual NVMe or you get NVMe along with a SATA port into which you can plug in your another hard drive. That is not the case. You have a singular slot only and you can only upgrade the NVMe drive from like a 512, which is what's on here to maybe a one terabyte. So that's the only upgrade path you have. Other than that, there is no upgrade options available. Even Xiaomi doesn't offer a one terabyte storage variant. It's This is basically as maxed out as it gets. So do keep this in mind that this is this machine is pretty much at the very end of its power cycle, which means how much more powerful can it get? You can't add more RAM to it for sure. You can just add more storage. That's the only thing you can do. So do keep that in mind if you're considering buying this machine for anything other than work, which involves mostly the office suite or involves research work. If you're looking to run any heavy software for data analysis, uh, 3D animation, photo editing, video editing, or even gaming, it'll work fine now, but maybe in about a year and a half, two years time, not so much. So there's that. So let's conclude this review by making some things very clear. What does the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition do well? What does it not do very well? Who is it suited for and who should stay away? The idea of this laptop is a thin and light, powerful notebook that you can use anywhere. So it achieves that. It weighs only 1.3 kilograms. It comes with the latest 10 gen Intel Core i7 processors and even i5 which are very powerful for any everyday use. It has NVIDIA's MX series dedicated GPUs, the 250 or the 350, depending on the variant you get. 
the display is pretty solid, bright enough, color accurate enough for everyday use once again. Where it would falter is the fact that since it comes with only 8 GB of RAM, which is soldered onto the board and cannot be upgraded, some users will find that a limitation maybe a year or year and a half into the future, especially if these are the users who are doing creative work, um, running Photoshop, Lightroom, any of that kind of stuff. 8 gigs of RAM does definitely falter in those use case scenarios. Gaming on this machine has been touted to be uh, one thing you could do, but we would recommend staying away from gaming on this laptop simply because of the multiple reasons that one, the MX350 offers very, very base level performance. You're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to run the games at low graphics to basically have any playable frame rates. It will also end up generating a lot of heat in that regard if you're doing gaming. If you keep your workloads light, which is uh, mostly sticking to the office suite and even heavy multitasking between that, you'll be just fine. The battery life on this thing is really, really good. I got about six, six and a half hours of use just doing my daily work things. Uh, PC Mark gives this a battery score of about seven hours and a few minutes, give or take. So overall, it's a very promising package and it's actually a very impressive of a machine for the price. So if you have been in the market for a laptop that's thin and light, is powerful enough to be used for the next two years and sort of gets at least the basics right, this is a good choice. One big caveat, and this is probably the biggest, is the fact that it does not have a backlit keyboard. The trackpad does not inspire confidence in its uh, longevity. And of course, the fact that there is no webcam here, but on the Horizon Edition, Xiaomi bundles an external webcam with this laptop. So it's not that you will end up with a laptop and no webcam. You do have a webcam, it's external one. And if you go for the non-Horizon edition ones, which is like the regular Mi Notebook 14, then of course there's a webcam built into the display. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. It's given you some insight into the Mi Notebook 14. Of course, there are a lot more aspects to this laptop. And if you have questions about them, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them for sure. And thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And before you leave, also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from us. Thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.